Hi Libra, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your December mid-month tarot reading. Generally my readings turn out to be love readings so we will see what comes up. I have pre-shuffled this deck for you so I'm only going to shuffle for a moment and I have to remind you that this is not a private reading. So just take what resonates and leave the rest. I have pre-shuffled this deck, so I feel like I'm done. I will focus this camera in once I have the cards laid out. So it appears that you guys are starting to let go of something. You're starting to let go. You're, you've been through a struggle. And I think that you're starting to finally let go of something. Something that was very heavy. Something you were hanging on to. You've decided to take action. You can't ignore it anymore. Okay. It, it, you know, it's been going on for a while. It's, there's been a lot of struggles here. I think it's with a lover, you know, somebody that you loved, a, a partnership. I feel like there's been a lot of struggles there have. You've sacrificed a lot of your time. You know, you've carried this weight around. You've, you've really done everything that you can do. And I think that you finally decided to take some action. You know, you're not ignoring it anymore. You're not. Your eyes are open. You've tear you've you're taking the blindfold off, even if it's coming off an inch at a time. The blindfold is finally coming off. I feel like you are, you know, you you've been resisting it. You have been. You were obsessed with this for a while, but it feels like, you know, I can't I can't do this anymore. It doesn't it's not helping my heart. You know, and it's too, it's too heavy to carry around. I, I just can't carry this anymore. It, the burden is huge. You've been, you've been hanging on to something that, that hasn't been happening. The communication wasn't coming. This person wasn't giving you what you wanted. And, you know, even though you stuck it out, I mean, you, you, there was a lot of confusion here. You stuck it out for a long, for the long haul. I mean, you were, you were in it. You were sticking it out. You know, you were just hoping and praying that things were going to turn around, but it appears that, you know, it's not. And now you're letting it go. You're just letting it go. You can't carry it anymore. I think it's decision-making time. All right? It is. It's time to make this most difficult decision. And I think many of you are doing it. You've decided to take action. I can't, you know, I can't stay here anymore. Um, this with the tower card right here there was a false foundation something came in that you know a long time ago I think this has been going on for a long time something came in a long time ago that seemed perfect you know it seemed like it was ideal but it was a test okay it was a test and it wasn't perfect and now you know, you, it has crashed down. It's come to the end of the cycle, and there's nothing you can do about it. I mean, the script was already written a long time ago. We have the high priestess here. The script was written. You can't change the written script, okay? You cannot. There's karma here. There's definitely a karmic situation that caused an obsession that, you know, was here to teach you something. Okay, here's the written script, here's the karma, and here's the obsession. This is the Four of Pentacles. So there was an obsession that was karmic that was coming in to teach you a lesson to help you to find your purpose, okay? Because this is searching for your purpose to be able to, you know, learn from it, all right? I do feel like, you know, there's been a lot of grief. There's been a lot of heartache. You've had some serious... Um, periods of struggle and emotional, um, you know, crying. I see a lot of emotional. I see crying, um, <clears throat> depression, um, 
emotions out of whack, not being able to be in control of them, you know, out of control emotions, overwhelming, that's a better word for it, overwhelming emotions, okay, and and there's really a lot of heartache because of it, because you, you this is not how you wanted it to end, but like I said, the script had already been written like way long ago, but probably, I mean, the way that I see it, before you were born, okay, so... You, you know, I feel like if finally you've decided to take action, you know what you need to do. Um, something has needed to end for a very long time. You were resisting it forever, resisting letting go. And you may have even been um, restless about it. You know, like I, you know, I know I need to let this go, but I can't because, you know, there's, there was an obsession. There was an obsession to it. You know, it was false in any way, as you see. I, I just grabbed that car with my shirt. But anyway, it was false, but it was here to teach you a lesson. This obsession probably caused you, you know, to have a mentally restless energy. You may have felt angry at times. You may have felt a very intense, like, even spiteful because of the hurt that this has caused. I see an, an overwhelming amount of hurt, anguish, despair, crying, overwhelmingly amount. Like, I cannot believe that this this wasn't true, okay? Because it was false and it's just really hard to believe. But with the high priestess, you know, there, you need to trust your intuition. Okay, there's a secret. There was a secret that really wasn't a secret. There is something behind this. There was a purpose for this. You know, there was a reason. There, It was karmic. Okay, there was a reason this person, whoever it is you're thinking about as I'm giving you this reading, there's a reason for it. Okay, because they were bringing you closer to your life's purpose. This karma had to be dealt with. Okay, you were led to this person for a reason. You were. Even if it's ending, you know, and it is, but you guys have been resisting this ending for a very long time, but you're really, really close to taking action. You know, this, this relationship or this love that you thought didn't turn out the way you had hoped, okay? It did not turn out the way you had hoped. Somebody has let you go or you let them go or both, you know, and it's been tough. It's been really, really tough. Um... But I think towards the end of this month, you've caught starting to, you're starting to come to your senses, open your eyes, and and really make that decision. You know, to do the right thing, to do the right thing for yourself, to 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 take justice on your own behalf. Okay, you're finally seeking the balance that you deserve. You know, it's time to make the decision. That's what I see, and I feel like that at the end of this month. You're so close to making it, if not making it already. You know, you've come to the realization that this wasn't what you thought. This wasn't the love that you thought. And if you're, this is, a, this is probably, you know, involving another person. Could be a Taurus, okay? Could be a Taurus that, um, you know, there could have been a third party situation with a water sign, okay, or a Gemini or a fire sign. You know, there could have been a third party situation that, you know, you waited on, you had faith, you had trust, you put in a lot, you put in a lot of work waiting and waiting for this person. But, you know, the, finally, you it's physically making you ill, by the way, making you ill. You know, and anyway, I feel that, you know, you've come to a point where I, I, I can't do this anymore and you've come to the, I see coming to a realization it's time to do the right thing for me I feel like many of you thought this person was your soulmate and you know <laughs> turns out you know they were just a, a, a karmic lesson and um, yeah Yeah, you, you see, somebody is certainly taking action. You know, there's this is absolutely almost at the end. It's almost at the end of the crash, you know, the breakdown. It's like, I can't do this anymore. You see that just what just happened. You know, this, this foundation that 
has crashed down, it's, it's, you're at the end of it. You're at the end of the crash. I've decided to take action. I, I deserve more. I need, it's time for me to bring my, my, my vibration back up. It's time for me to honor myself. All this obsession has done is bring you hurt. Hurt, lies. Unhappiness. You haven't received the love that you desire that you desire from this person or the attention. You've been wanting more, you've been waiting for it. You've been over analyzing, you've been looking for more, you've been praying, you've been begging, you've been, you know, really not getting what you desire in this with this person you know it's been just about killing you I see it has it's been so heavy and and it, the stress is really taking a toll on your health it was a false soulmate and I am sorry to tell you that I know you don't want to hear it and you can put the thumbs down if you want but I'm telling you right now it was a false soulmate and you know what it was it was a karmic lesson it was a karmic soulmate it wasn't happily ever after it wasn't meant to be it wasn't meant to be okay so now the the thing is is it's time to make your decision it's time to make your choice to we to let go of this heaviness this this person that you've been obsessed with For the longest time, you have re not received anything from this person. Very little. Okay, you may have received little tidbits here and there, but not much. Not much. It's time to do the right thing for you. It's time to cut this person out. It's time to cut the cord. <laughs> it was karma. Justice is karma. And I'm telling you right now, there's a lot of karma here. This person that you were hanging on to with every ounce of your soul was karmic okay it was karmic and now and you were resisting taking action you were completely obsessed but even though you were so unhappy it was doling every part of you your inside your outside totally bringing you down you know you weren't receiving the love you weren't it was a karmic soulmate that's all it was you know and and now you've come to the point where you know I, I can't go into 2018 like this I just can't. You know, I know that I can't. All right. Um, you know it's time to make the decision. You know it's time to cut the cord. You know it's time to make it final. You know you have to do something about it. Where is your integrity? This King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio could be entering, entering your life. Okay. A new person could be entering your life. But you could miss the opportunity. You could miss the opportunity because you don't take action with the current scenario that you're dealing with. The current unhappiness that you've been living in. You could miss the opportunity with Prince Charming's father. <laughs> I mean, seriously. You could. Somebody who is very mature, compassionate, loving, kind, romantic. But because you're still wrapped up in this false foundation, you certainly could miss this opportunity. But it's all in your hands. We have the Knight of Wands twice. Here it's upright. Here it's reversed. Either you don't take action or you do. If you do, it will bring you the justice you deserve. If you don't, this justice card will stay reversed. And you won't get the justice you deserve. So what are you going to do? Are you going to live like this? Unhappy? Unfulfilled? Unsatisfied? Unloved? Or would you rather be loved and flip this card over too? And this one. The lover's card. What is it going to be? All you have to do is continue to let go. This is the hangman. Continue to let go. 
Continue to open your eyes. Keep taking the blindfold off. I see that you're peeling it back. You might have it uncovered one eye. Uncover the other eye. I don't really like to have my cards a mess, but we'll just deal with it, I guess. Oh dear. It's time to bring, get your emotions in check, master your emotions, and offer your love to someone else that deserves it. It's time for you to offer your love to someone who deserves it. Oh, this card again. Got to be a reason for it. Oh my gosh. Oh. Okay, the ocean. The deep blue sea speaks to your soul, healing and soothing you. Even the act of imagining yourself dipping into its healing womb brings about desirable effects. Better yet, spend time physically near the ocean Allow its power and beauty to wash away all cares and concerns. And if you can't get to the ocean, listen to it via, you know, it's all over there on the internet. You can find the ocean sounds. Close your eyes and picture yourself listening to it. Try it. It's time for you to heal. The word healing is popping out at me. Okay. Heal your soul. And this card says it all. Detach from the situation. My prayer, Archangel Michael, I ask you to use your flaming sword to cut any attachment to fear or drama so that I may be centered in the knowingness that peace is everywhere within me and the situation. Use that flaming cord, cord, sword use the flaming sword to cut the cord please detach from the situation so that you do not lose any more opportunities The basis of your reading is the hangman reversed. You're starting to let go. Don't look back. No more hanging on. Anyhow, this is what I have for you, Libra. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. And I'll talk to you next time.